Hey guys, so today I wanted to install Windows XP Professional on my laptop which has Windows 7 Ultimate. Now obviously you could just try and burn the ISO image of Windows XP onto a flash drive, hook it up and run the setup but it just will not let you install Windows XP because it's like way older. Uh, you can run into, restart the computer, run into the boot option then try to run off of the flash drive. For me, for some reason, it still would not do it. Uh, I even tried burning it onto a DVD. It would still not work. Uh, I, I pretty much tried everything out there on the web and it did not work. The only way I got it to work was through Linux Mint. I installed it from the website. I used Rufus 2.2 to burn that ISO image of Linux Mint onto a flash drive. Then I hooked it up to my laptop and I booted off of the flash drive fine I got in and on the desktop there will be a install Linux now that permanently puts it on your hard drive uh, and no and not on your flash drive it will not try to boot off your flash drive anymore in case you only have one flash drive and you need to reuse the flash drive uh, once I installed Linux Mint onto my hard drive <clears throat> I was able to uh, disconnect that flash drive, go on my other on this computer. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm installing Windows XP fine now through the method that I did. But uh, I went back onto this computer. Uh, I just formatted my flash drive again, kept it a plain uh, NTFS format. Um, and then I dragged in the ISO image of Windows XP. I believe you can also get it from Microsoft's website or just anywhere on the web. Just type in Windows XP Professional. Um, I got that. I just dragged it in there. And now when I when I connect this into Linux Mint, it'll automatically pop up and it'll show this. And I right click on it, and the first option says Burn using file burner or something but uh, you pretty much need a DVD a blank DVD I put in the blank DVD uh, I selected this ISO image when connected into the laptop in Linux Mint's operating system and I was able to burn this ISO image onto the DVD once that happened I was able to restart the computer press F9 get into my boot options and I was able to uh, boot off of internal CD DVD ROM and it worked perfectly fine as you can see I actually got it to work to where now it's installing Windows XP so this way worked for me hopefully it can work for you too I absolutely tried everything every other method of simply just putting Windows XP on a bootable flash drive it just would not work DVD did not work for some reason it kept getting boot manager errors and whatnot and this way I know it's a little longer but it did work for me hopefully it works for you